Hey guys, my name is Sarah. I'm a healthcare traveler and I just bought a freaking Airstream. So it's February 12th. I am about to pack up the car, head up to Ashland, Oregon to meet up with some fellow travelers, spend the night there, and then drive up to Eugene. So let's get the car packed and let's get going. All right, off I go. <laughs> February 14th. It is raining like crazy, but I feel like that's good luck somehow. I am on my way to go get my Airstream. Woo -hoo! sparkling cider. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but it's getting cold. <laughs> Purchasing my Airstream in Oregon allowed me to save quite a bit of money in sales tax. Although Oregon has no sales tax, I still had to pay 6% since I registered the trailer in Florida, which is still a big savings compared to the 9% sales tax I would have had to pay where I'm staying in California right now. And I got a fun road trip out of it. So time to move in. I unloaded all my crap from my car and now I'm gonna try to figure out how to use this Bluetooth finger my bobber because supposedly I have surround sound with a subwoofer. No big deal. The dealership allowed me to spend my first night in their lot, which was great because I could have all of my additional questions answered in the morning. Plus, I got to rest and get a fresh start on the drive back to California the next day. Wait, 
hitching up for the first time. I can't see your hands. More? All hitched up. The dynamic duo. <laughs> Scout and arrow. There it is. They took me on a little test drive, thank goodness, because I was kind of freaking out. But now I am on my way to go pick up my wood and then back to California. I'm having a custom tabletop made for the Airstream and I figured what better place to purchase the wood than the town I bought the Airstream in? Dan pulled through with some slabs of English walnut that were planted by pioneers 130 years ago, just a few miles away. I absolutely love the history and can't wait to incorporate this wood into the Airstream. This is nice stuff. Yeah, I'm super excited about it. Got, it's beautiful. Um, do, you, do you want to keep them whole or do you want to cut them? Let's keep them whole if we can. Cool. This is luxurious. I think it will exactly Oh my gosh. Wow, good job. It's perfect. Not even gonna lie, this is a bit nerve wracking being on the highway next to a bunch of semis. Now that I've been on the road for a couple hours and my Airstream is still hanging on, I'm feeling a lot better. It says I have about four more hours to get to my campsite, which will probably take more like five. Check back in once I get there. What I expected to be a easy pull through campsite ended up not being that easy. And even just the drive to get to it was very long. So I'm exhausted. I just made a frozen stovetop meal and I am going to Netflix and chill because I'm over today. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I just woke up in this campsite and all of the struggles I had last night are beyond worth it. This is amazing. to my campsite last night I noticed that this guy was broken so I sent a picture to the dealership they just called me and they said that I need to go buy this little piece go attach it to the good side and then get to the airstream dealer ASAP sorry about the wind hopefully the airstream dealer will take a hit today and yeah we'll go from there all right change of plans I didn't feel very comfortable with the temporary fix so I'm going to a local welding shop to fix it and then Airstream agreed to reimburse me. So I'm just going to send them the receipt and that way I have that peace of mind. So when I drive three and a half hours home in this crazy wind, I don't have some sketchy temporary fix going on with my hitch and better safe than sorry, right? I didn't expect to have a problem on my very first day out. But it is what it is and I'm just breathing, taking it one step at a time and getting through it. This has been a really beautiful place to stay for my first camping trip. It was just an overnight stay, but I booked it last minute. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. But now it's time to say goodbye to Black Butte Lake and head to the welding shop. <laughs> We're all fixed up. Not only did they do the bad side, but they did the good side too. Look how beautiful. Much better. Okay, just a touch more.
think Rue likes the Airstream. <laughs> I made it back to California where I'm staying. Rue loves the Airstream. She's super stoked about it just as much as I am. It has been quite an adventure to get to this moment right here. Thanks, Rue. <laughs> but I'm super excited to decompress for a few days. If you wanna follow along this journey with me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I can assure you there will be plenty of Airstream content coming your way. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.